Oh, and in third place, the wild man crew Bingham. We're gonna be honest with you. Good afternoon, almost good evening. It has been a busy day. I meant to bring the camera with me to Edge Power Sports today. I took Cruz bike in to get it serviced, get the oil changed, all those good things because guys, race kickoff is tomorrow. So we're getting that bike geared up, sauced up, ready to go, but I didn't bring the camera. So I felt so dumb. But you guys, I did remember this. We are now off to Cruz Award Ceremony. This is the Mini Motocross We're Series. I'm kind of nervous. Is this the Spring Series? Spring Series. We're spring about to start series. summer tomorrow. Holy cow, you guys, it just never ends and it's so epic. So tonight, we're gonna go to the award ceremony. They're gonna be giving out awards, plaques, things like that, trophies. We don't know if Cruz is gonna get anything. He raced hard. He we were super proud of him. Fun. He learned so much. I think he learned about a lot about himself, about racing. One know? of the things that I think is amazing that he learned is how to get up after falling down. And whether that's a hard accident right off of the gates or whether that's a hard turn where he hurt his wrist earlier on guys there's so many moments in fact let's go back and relive some of the highlights of Cruz race series this year awesome. as we head over to Rocky Mountain Raceway for this award ceremony tonight Kirby, we're going to edge power sports right now to get you outfitted for your first motocross gear <laughs> joke it's been an incredible season Cruz learned so oh, much it's been so such an adventure for him such a growth experience and such a cool thing to be a part of so tonight's the night where they give out the awards the plaques all of the things to celebrate and commemorate this last series or season we're gonna go in there right now we're gonna see how Cruz does we'll see how much hardware he takes in just pop with <laughs> guys it's a hundred degrees so out here excited. we're gonna get inside hopefully they got some drinks we know they got pizza let's go cool off let's go celebrate crew <laughs> Are you guys comparing your hair? <laughs> right here. Guys, if you didn't know already, when these guys got this haircut, they asked for the Bryson Green haircut. So that's the haircut they wanted. So right now they're just comparing to see how Bryson it looks. Does it look Bryson enough? You guys think you got the right haircut? Now it looks more Bryson. <laughs> You're showing off your lips. Everybody, look at her pretty lips. She borrowed that from Mana and had it mostly all over her face, huh? <laughs> hey, Z, can you tell everybody say thank you for my birthday party? Thank you to my birthday party. Everyone has been so nice on your birthday party video telling you you had such a beautiful birthday. And say thanks for coming to my party. Thanks for coming to my party. Bye bye. Still gonna send it. The champion gets the big trophy. We're gonna give away a few different prizes. I read through these names really fast. If you're here, you're welcome to come on up. Uh, Crew Hart in 30th. Nevarez again. William Andrus. Oh, and in third place, the wild man, Crew Bingham. Crew B! Second place in your Pee Wee beginner class is Shane Reedy. All right, let's have one last round of applause for your Pee Wee beginner class. Yeah, crew B! Hold those plaques up high, guys. Awesome. Look at these studs. Look at all these savages up here. Love you, crew B. Congratulations, bud. All right, thanks, guys. Crew. Quick. We'll mix it up. Oh my Go gosh, from the dude, look at that. Guys crew B. To the adults, I Third place on Pee Wee beginner, dude. Might not Number be 12. too What's many of these thing, guys bro? here. That's all your places right there too. Alright guys, they just announced Pee Wee Beginner Class Top not. Ten and our crew B Doobie Doo finished third place in Pee Wee Beginner. So proud of him. Showing Mama's plaque right now. Wait, what did you just win? 60 helmets are how? A little bit pricey. You just how won? You your head. What did you win? And it's taking a few years at Highly, so we go with 60. Uh, this is 50% off of 12th place in your Pee Wee 78. 
Proving them. 12 for number 12, Groovy. That's cool. 11, Boston Strickland. So the first one Boston. that we had was the Pee Wee Beginner class. Tax. So that was all Pee Wee Beginners. Cross. This is Pee Wee 7 8 specifically, uh, so these are all the riders. Eight. Look at Groovy, he's up there. Love you, dude. Garrett. Hold him up. So the first one was Pee Wee Beginner, guys. This one's Pee Wee 7 8. This is the harder class. This is the one that he dared to enter, so we had two classes. All right, 65 this year. Beginner. The hey, names, congrats, a lot bro. of them aren't here. Love you, dude. So. Hey, you Daniel Ribeiro. Let's do it. 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 Jackson. So as total rookies and noobs here, I feel like we're not doing a great job of vlogging it, but we are learning a lot and we're having a great time. Crew is thrilled to go up there twice. He got third place overall in his new beginner class, which was amazing. He got 12th place in the PV7-8, which I thought was cool because he's number 12. He's going to bring home two plaques to go with this trophy he's got at home, but we just love being part of this motocross community. We love coming here for the awards night and celebrating all of his friends and peers. Bryson Green. Oh, Bryson Green! So guys, if we haven't told you already, this was Cruz Trainer. This is the guy who got him ready for racing. Always gave him encouragement at the starting line. If you can't tell, it's a good guy to have in your court. This is his second first place trophy of the night. Check him out on Instagram, at Bryson Green 5. The kid is not only a savage on the track, but he's also the most humble, sweet kid you've ever met. Perfect and great role model for our crew we do. So thank you to everybody here. Mike Powell was his first time running the track. So thank you, Mike, and Rocky Mountain Raceway for all your help. So let's show our support by coming out for this final Rocky Mountain Raceway Mini MX League for the fall. Do you want me to hold one of my plaques? Yeah, will you hold one of them up? Okay, you guys ready? Jeez, one, two, three. Great smiles, guys. Nice job. And next up at the gates, we have Mana Bingham riding on the Husqvarna scooter. Some people say she's got a lead foot. Really, it's just a big, thick plastic boot. She's pretty fast out here on the raceway. She can do an under 10-hour mile. Ready, set, Start your engines. Go. go, Mom, don't fall. Don't fall. Thank you, Bryson. Thank you, Bryson. <laughs> she's off. She's gone. <laughs> You don't stand a chance. <laughs> I'm gonna say maybe a tie. Might have been a tie. <laughs> Thanks for letting me win. Hey, that was a full team effort there, guys. That's uh, that's what I like to see. You have your purse. Where's my crew we do? Crew, come here, buddy. All right, Savage Crew Bingham just came fresh off of his first ever award ceremony for Mini MX. How do you feel, dude? Good. So what was your favorite part of tonight? Probably just running around and having fun. And seeing your friends that you've made through the motocross season. So what has been your favorite part of like the whole series of motocross that you've done up to this point? Probably the racing. The racing? Are you stoked to do another round? Yeah. Starts tomorrow. Starts tomorrow, you guys. Don't miss it. Tomorrow we'll be at this track again. We just found out that next year they're going to actually move the tracks a little bit closer to us. Race is a little closer to us, so that's going to be nice. But one last round here at Rocky Mountain Raceway. Kirby Doo, are you ready for next season? I think they're called Series. Series. Are you ready? Mom's savage. Mom is so savage. So savage. Are you ready for the next series, bro? Yeah. And your hair looks awesome too. Love you. This has been the home to a lot of family memories for us. It's been amazing to see grandparents come out and support, oh family gosh, members come out and support. The family just rally around crew. It's been so cool. We've made new friends. We've been welcomed into the motocross oh, family. Totally. This is kind of tying a bow on the first series of motocross that we've ever done in our lives. So it's been. Hey! <laughs> Yeah. That's one of the friends we're talking about right there. <laughs> we're actually talking about you. It's perfect. <laughs> we have been welcomed. It's been awesome. And we are definitely outsiders, and we've just been immediately pulled into the mix, and so we've been so appreciative of that. Of course, huge shout out to the people at Edge Power Sports who made it possible for us to do this. Super yeah, stoked on them. Pretty awesome. As you guys know, Bryson Green, we call him Bryson Green 5 because that's his Instagram, <laughs> and we're so hooked on it. You guys should go check it out. But he has trained crew, him and his dad have taken him out to the track with me, showed us what to do, how to do it, how to repair a bike, how to do an oil change, all the different 
things that we wouldn't know on our own because we're new at this. They've made the entry very simple for us, and so we can't thank them enough for how much yeah, that's Yeah, they've been awesome. incredible. You can tell he's in good hands when he walks away with three first, first place, place trophies. First place trophies, yeah, not too and bad. And Kruby's not far behind him. Took a third place third home place tonight. Third place on his first ever series. You he guys are so awesome. proud of him. I'm so proud of it. And like we've said over and over again, we're the most proud when he actually faces adversity and overcomes it. You know, we love I seeing him finish in the top three. I literally there. There are so many. Like right before he gets on the track and he's about to race, I literally almost cry. Number one of nerves, but I'm just proud of him because every time that he spills, he like gets back up. It's so fun to watch the progress that he made, starting off very timid, slowing down as he approached the jumps, now trying to catch air, trying to get speed, and that's just been through dedication, through hard work, and through the help of some really awesome he people. He pushes it hard. So guys, we're gonna go home. We're actually got a special passenger with us. We're taking Mana back home. Privileged enough to bring her back home. We're gonna wrap this day up, but we will see you guys at home. Hi, Rosen. Hi. All right, guys, as you know, when we go to motocross, we picked up a sick new Ford F-150, sick truck. If you haven't seen that vlog, go back and check it out. See when we got that truck and why we got that truck. We got it specifically for motocross to load the bike in. Well, guess what, you guys? We didn't need the bike tonight, so we were rocking it in the minivan. Okay, get in here. In the minivan. <laughs> Hi, Hazy. So we're rocking it in the minivan. Not only are we rocking it in the minivan, Dad is rocking it back here with the boys and Hazy. We're hanging out, guys. It's pretty hot still. It was 100 degrees when we got there. It's 97 right now at 8 o'clock at night. So I'm just chilling back here because we have the great privilege of taking Mana home tonight. Papa dropped her off, and as you know, her foot is totally jacked up, so she can't drive herself. So we're going to be driving her home as part of our return trip. Some extra time with Mana, which is very cool. Got to be honest, I actually kind of like it back here, guys. What do you think of the back of the van? I like it because you can hear the sound a little bit louder. Yeah, this is actually a pretty comfortable setup for me. We just take this middle seat out and my legs can go all the way out and they go almost all the way up to the front of the car. Not a bad setup though for the drive home. Rainbow. Rainbow. Is it sour? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Let's go home, should we? Yeah. Hey sweetie. We made it. <laughs> Best part of this whole night. Oh! Extra pizza. Mom scored a free Little Caesars pizza with breadsticks. I'm not sharing either. That's how you bang them. That's how I'm savage. You are savage. Oh, okay. oh hey, mom, just uh, pound another breadstick there. No, I can't. That's savage. Brent is like, oh my gosh, I totally got on camera earlier, and I was like, every time people see me, I'm eating. That's true. That's kind of mom's thing, you guys. Guys, we're wrapping this night up. Mom actually picked up a couple clients tonight, so she's gonna get to work while I get the kids to bed. We are going to say goodnight to you. It was so fun reliving kind of the last series or last season of motocross and we are so stoked to start another one tomorrow night. They call it the practice. It's kind of the kickoff. They call so it the exhibition. Okay, I'll let you down. What our crew we do is starting another round tomorrow. Are you tomorrow. ready? I said, are you ready? <laughs> That's pretty much crew. If you haven't checked out our Insta story today, we threw up a poll. Do we get Rye Guy started in this or not? Edge Power Sports is looking at Thank being you. willing. Oh, okay, Rex. Getting. Thank you. Okay, Hazy Girl, you'd be amazing at it. Getting a bike for Rye Guy, getting him all set up. Check out our Insta story. Go vote on our Insta story. Do we get Rye Guy into biking? He probably wouldn't be able to get it going in time for this series because he hasn't even practiced or even sat on a bike and rode one. But it would be for the next one. And these series are pretty short, it comes quickly. So he'd be practicing up over the next two months and be ready to race in the next one. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, go to our Insta stories and vote. I think we're gonna be having to make some room on the wall for those plaques, trophies, and all these fun things coming up. We love you, we're gonna sign off, get these kids into bed, get our motocross stud ready for tomorrow. Get Brexit ready to be awesome. Get Hazy ready to go to sleep. Get mom ready to be savage. Get Rag Guy ready for a swimming on Saturday. And get dad off the camera. Bye everybody. Bye. <laughs> love you.